So I ran into this problem uh, in a pretty strange place. Uh, it says, give an example of a group G and a proper subgroup H of G such that H is isomorphic uh, to G. So when I first saw this, I thought, wow, you know, how can that be? You know, if it's a proper subgroup, um, then it has to have less elements, right? Because, you know, uh, so, so what's the deal? And I thought, wait a minute, uh, it can't be finite, right? So the example we come up with has to be infinite. That's the only way uh, that this is going to work. Because, see, if two groups are isomorphic, that means their cardinality is the same. So if you have uh, finite groups and you do this, it's not going to work, right? Because if H is finite and, you know, G is finite, and you take H and you take a, you know, proper subgroup, let's use that notation, then H has less elements than G, so the cardinality of H is strictly less than the cardinality of G, so it fails horribly. So the only way this is going to work is if H, is, H and G are infinite. So I thought of this example, which is probably the simplest one. Take the set of integers under addition, and then take um, any multiple, any set of multiples of Z. Let's take, let's take 2Z. So this is all of the even integers. And let's define phi from Z into 2Z by, say, phi of X equals 2X. And this works, right? This is a homomorphism. Uh, it's one-to-one, -one and uh, it's surjective. I won't prove it, but I'll give you like a quick, a quick sketch. So for any x, y, and z, maybe we will prove it. <laughs> so for any x, y, and z, uh, if you look at 5x plus y, that's 2 times x plus y. And that's just 2x plus 2y. Pretty easy stuff. And that's equal to 5x plus 5y. So that shows that, you know, phi is a homomorphism. What about 1 to 1? A couple ways to do this. Uh, let's be fancy and show that the kernel um, is the identity element. So suppose x is in the kernel of phi. And so this means, what does this mean? This means that phi takes x and sends it to the identity in 2z. Well, the identity in 2z is just 0, with the number 0. And so this means that 2x is equal to 0, and so x is equal to 0. So this shows that the kernel of phi is just the identity element, so 0 in this case. And so, so phi is 1 to 1. What about onto? Onto is pretty easy. Uh, take any y in 2z. So this means that y is a multiple of 2, so you can write it as 2x, where x is in z. Going pretty fast. I wasn't planning on proving it. And then take 5x, that's an integer, so you can do that, and that's equal to 2x by definition of phi, uh, but we said that's equal to y. So 5x is equal to y, so it's on 2. So we've got that it's a homomorphism, it's 1 to 1, and it's onto. So what does that mean? We have an isomorphism, right? So z is isomorphic to 2z. To so the fact we use 2 is pretty arbitrary, right? We could have used uh, any integer, right? Uh, we could have used nz uh, as long as it's not uh, 1 or negative 1 because then we get back uh, the same thing, I guess. Um, I hope that helps. Pretty cool uh, example, I thought. So I figured I'd, I would make a uh, video.